Hey there, it's Joe Lyons, and uh, in this video I'm going to demonstrate um, how to rename worksheets in Excel, um, I think how to activate them too, and how to change the colors all with AutoHotKey programmatically. So um, first thing we want to do is uh, I have an Excel function library um, in my include, in my LIB folder under AutoHotKey, so I'm going to include it, because right now, look, if, I, if I'm down here in Studio and I type xl underscore there's nothing um i have an entire library of functions that begin with xl and that should be auto populating but so um studio doesn't know that right so i have to include it uh, even though it's in my library just for studio to know to pull it in so i'm gonna say include and then just it knows where to look so it's gonna look for it um, and then i'm gonna save it now down here in my project explorer that didn't change anything but um I could hit Control R because I built that as a hotkey, but I'm gonna hit Alt M. Um, oh, wrong. There we go. Um, Alt M and refresh Project Explorer. And I'll just go ahead and I'll say Projects. Let's see if it does it. So it's going through. And notice now there's a plus here. And see, Excel is now um, pulled up because I've told it to include it. So now when I start typing Excel, it pulls from my library and allows me to have these right here. So um, this is one of the great features in Studio. Um, so first thing I need to do is, of course, connect to that Excel um, function. Now, I've covered connecting to a spreadsheet or a workbook and the program itself. So, But I think that's called Handle, something like this. G Excel Handle. Um, I want to store it in Excel. And the first one is the program, which I think is fine. So that's gonna create a pointer to Excel, stored it in the variable Excel, right? Um, so the next one, let's say if I want to rename sheet two. So um, Excel, I think it's work sheet rename. Maybe it's rename sheet, rename sheet. So here's the beauty of this. I've written all these functions and, and I'll give you guys a link to my Excel library. Um, so you don't have to go, you can go in and study the code, but to me, this is a beauty of having functions in your library. You don't have to, you don't have to know, right? It's just, so first I need a pointer and this is a great thing. See how it's highlighted saying, Hey, what's, what's your pointer? Okay. I'll add a comma, original name. So right now it's sheet one and then the new name, um, my new sheet. I'm going to save that and launch it. And now when I hit my hotkey, there it goes, right? And notice, actually, I, maybe I was, let me, let's try and do, let's, let's copy that. I'm going to comment that one out. We'll rename sheet three to my new sheet three. Because I don't think it activates it. There you go. And so that's one of the nice things with doing stuff in, in either VBA or auto hotkey, it doesn't matter, but automating Excel is you don't necessarily have to activate everything to do it, which can save you a lot of time and um, just makes it easier. So, so that's how to rename a worksheet. Um, the next one I was going to do was let's change the color. Um, so uh, again, we're going to start with Excel and then I think it's tab color. Um, and we need to connect to the object and then um, the sheet name let's do sheet two and the color um these are all numbers and actually let me switch over let's save this switch over to the um excel function library and um let's search for tab dot color and so I have in here, um, there's no easy way to do it, you know, to, to pull, have you, allow you to pull it up, at least not that I'm aware of, but these are the um, the colors that it'll use. So if you put in a one, I'm going to save it, reload it, and launch it. Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, I didn't put in this in double quotes. There we go, because it's a string. There we go. So see it turned black. Um, let's change it to two, which will be white, which I don't think anyone would ever use, but still, um, three is, should be red and so on. Right. So there's a bunch, I just went through and 
grabbed the dominant colors that I saw and kind of gave them a short label here. Um, these are the ones that I use that really kind of pop and you can distinguish them from them. There's a lot more. Um, there's also a different way to set the colors to using some sort of, you know, hexadecimal or whatever color code, which gives you like 65 million colors or whatever. But um, I, I just find it too overwhelming. And I don't know, that, you know, I'd have to look up each one. It's not worth it. So that's a quick, easy way. You know, let's do one more. Um, and I, I haven't played with this in a while, but XL, I forget what it's called. Move, move sheet name to Y index. Yeah, so let's move um, my sheet. So we're going to do this one. Of course, I'll point to the function, comma. And so we're going to move my new sheet. And I think this is just the number. And so we're going to put it last. I don't remember if this is zero indexed or not. So let, let's do two and we'll see where it puts it. It might put it the second. It might put it third if it's zero indexed. So let's save it, reload, and run. Try three and see what happens. Oh, there we go. That's interesting. I don't know how that can be three. Let's try four. Does it put after? Oh, is that well, I'm sorry. The three, the three, the three was here. So um, let's let's now move my sheet index to one, and it moves it back to first. Um, and then we could change. Um, Let's move this to one, and this would, of course, be sheet two. So this would allow you to uh, move your worksheets in a set order. Um, this is what's great, right? If you work on a, a file and you're dealing with formatting and you want to have a nice report to be able to give to people, and then you want them structured in a, in a certain way and they don't originally come that way, programmatically, if you know the name of the sheet, um, you can do that. There's also a way, I don't have it in my function list, but you can get the index of each one and then resort off the index. But um, you have to be sure, well, I'm sure if it comes out in a certain format, it's always that way, but um, I'd rather know the name and then move them. So anyway, hope that helps, thanks. Hey, actually, so I didn't leave. Um, I realized there was this other activate worksheet, which which fits in nicely with this video. So I'm just appending it to the end. I'm too lazy to redo the beginning part. Um, but let's go back in here. Um, and what was it called? Excel. Ex where'd it go? Oh, select sheet is what I called it. Yeah, that's a bad name. But anyway. Um, so select sheet, um, of course we gotta connect to the pointer and then give it a, what name we want. Let's say my new sheet. Oops, I forgot to put it in quotes. Save, reload and run. And now it'll activate that sheet. So if programmatically you wanted to um, move around and do stuff on a given worksheet, because you literally had to make, possibly, you know, send keystrokes or whatnot, um, or you just want to make sure it's active when you're doing a certain filtering or something. Um, that's how you can make it the active worksheet. Uh, there are some advantages, I'll say this, to um, making it the active worksheet because there's a way to easily connect to the active worksheet and then do stuff to it instead of having to call the entire path, including the sheet name um, and everything, even though the first one, sorry, the, including the sheet name, this is going to be the more reliable because it'll make sure you're on the right one. Um, sometimes if you're doing a lot of it, every time I remember reading this in the Excel workbook, I read VBA years and years ago, but it said every time you call that dot notation, um, it Excel basically has to look it up and find out where it is and get that path. Now, granted, it's a small amount of time, but if you can basically create a shortcut to it, you know, create a pointer to that thing um, and then just use that, it, it saves time. And so, um, I think this is one of those cases where, hey, if you're going to be working on that worksheet a lot, um, I guess you could still just create a shortcut to that worksheet, um, it, create a pointer to that worksheet, and then just reference that, kind of like in web scraping, I'll do that. But um, another way would just be to make it the active worksheet, and then you can just say on the active sheet. So, hope that helps. Cheers.